Welcome to the San Diego Spotlight, where we shine the light on business leaders around San Diego County and inform and empower you as a citizen of our lovely community. I'm your host, Elizabeth Story, bringing you the inside story. I gotta tell you, I'm feeling this song. I like it, <laughs> setting the mood just right. <laughs> You know, I'm really excited to talk to today's guest because everyone in San Diego County can benefit from the information we're about to share. Not only that, but we've got a list of very ex experienced people with some impressive credentials on today's table. Without further ado, I'd like to introduce you to John and Johnny Padilla from John Padilla Plumbing, Heating and Air. Welcome to our show, gentlemen. Thank you. Thank you. We also have another guest with us, Dan McCarthy, President and CEO of McCarthy Marketing, Inc. Welcome, Dan. Uh, thank you for having me. All right, so before we get into plumbing, heating, and air, I want to let our listeners know a little bit about you gentlemen, your background, where you came from, and, and what inspired you to do what you do. I'm going to start with John Padilla first. Can you tell us where you're from, and tell us a little bit about your background? Sure. I'm a native of San Diego. I was born and raised right here in San Diego. I've seen a lot of changes in our city. Um, I uh, joined the Air Force in 1970. I became a plumber, trained in the Air Force. I was there for five years. And then I got out of the Air Force and uh, went back to school and uh, did some plumbing uh, during that time. And then I joined the Contractor State License Board and I was a investigator or called Senior Deputy Registrar for 10 years with the Contractors Board. Uh, then I um, helped build a couple of plumbing companies here in San Diego. And uh, then we decided, my son and I, to get together and uh, open our own company. Finally, yeah, and you had the credentials to do it, too. Yes. So I'm really excited to go back into all of that. Um, we've kind of got the bird's eye view, so we'll go around the table. And next, we'll talk to your son, Johnny. So, Johnny, you have a Bachelor of Science in Mechanical Engineering. Tell us about that. Yes, uh, I graduated from Cal Poly San Luis Obispo in uh, 2005. Um, went there with looking into engineering, decided to go with Mechanical Engineering, and uh, was able to use that when I graduated school and went into some technical sales where I sold uh, heating and air conditioning equipment for large commercial buildings, uh, helped mechanical engineers design the systems, then um, also sold them to contractors so they could install them. Um, so I got a pretty extensive background in that and got a real crash course real fast into it. <laughs> How to do all that? That's probably some pretty big equipment, right? Yes, it was uh, quite interesting. First time you watch a helicopter remove a uh, piece of air conditioning equipment from the top of a building, it's pretty exciting. You realize it's kind of a big deal. <laughs> <laughs> I like to say so. <laughs> and so then Dad said, hey, I'm going to start my business. Do you want to come? Well, we always talked about doing something together. And, you know, there's my, we're very close in our family. Um, my dad and I speak every morning when we weren't working together. And... Um, for the longest time, we, you know, we'd both be going to work and not exactly thrilled to go to work necessarily. <laughs> and very true. I always, always kind of fight with that issue whether I, I feel like you should be happy and you should enjoy going to work. And I didn't want to to be like that. So we we talked about it quite often. And one day I literally called him and I said, "Well, guess what? I I, I quit my job. Let's do it." Oh wow! And <laughs> he retired. He's a gambler too. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, Luckily, sales was going pretty well, and uh, I, was, I was able to do something like that. So I, I put my two weeks in with my previous job. I called him, and uh, he was a little hesitant. But I said, you know, it's, it's time to do it. And we started working on a business plan right away. And it's it's we've been open for four years. It's been outstanding for four it's, years. It's been okay. a wonderful, wonderful four years. It's yeah, been great. and we still get along with each other. Yes. <laughs> well, <you know. laughs> That's really great. I actually envy you. I, I would love to work with one of my parents and to get to see them that often. You know, I they don't live here. Mm -hmm. So I kind of envy that wonderful relationship where you get to not only work for yourselves and get paid doing something you enjoy doing, but spend all that quality family time together. It's, it's truly the family company. It's a family. I mean, everything that we do uh, is based on, you know, if somebody was doing something to, for our family, you know, how would we approach it? You know, so we take that family really to heart, and, yeah. and it's really important to us. So tell us about your specialties. What do you like to do the most? What are you best at? Where, where, where are you serving San Diego County? Well, we serve the entire San Diego County, and I'll start on the plumbing and let Johnny elaborate on the, on the air conditioning later <laughs> on. But we, uh, we do residential, commercial, service and repair, replacement. Uh, there's nothing that we cannot do. Uh, we have such a team of, of experts that we put together in every field of plumbing 
that we feel comfortable of sending our guys into into somebody's residence or commercial building to do their work. Um, you know, we, we do water heaters, we, we do a lot of water heaters, we do a lot of tankless water heaters. Um, you know, water heaters are, are really, really important around here and, and a lot of people are changing to the tankless and it's definitely an advantage with the tankless water heater. And if you want to talk to me more about that, give me a ring. But the tankless is, is the way to go. Uh, we also we also do clear drains. Uh, we we do from from the smallest job in plumbing to the largest possible we can handle for you. I want to talk about tankless right now. Mm -hmm. When I take a shower in the morning, it takes a good seven minutes to to get hot water upstairs to my shower, and I know I'm wasting an absolute ton of water, and it's very important in our drought not to do that. So how does a tankless solve that problem? Well, the tankless helps you on the back end of that whole scenario. Uh, once the water goes past that tankless and you reactivate it in the morning, all that water that's in the system is not going to be warm. When it goes through the tankless, then it starts to become warm. The advantage of the tankless is that it never runs out of hot water. So no matter how long the shower is? No matter how long the shower but is. But I keep them short. I mean, there's a drought. Of course. <laughs> you know, we have to conserve. Remember that. Yes. <laughs> that's right. Now, what's your most common residential repair that you see? We see a... Um, Lately, we've seen a lot of gas lockouts uh, where SDG&E uh, notices that there's a, a spike in your gas use and they'll come out and investigate and if you have a leak, unfortunately, they'll lock it out. Really? Yes. So, are you, you're, so you're seeing a lot of leaks? We're seeing a lot of leaks in, 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 the, uh, in the gas piping, so they shut off their meters for their safety, of course. Right. And of course, uh, you know, getting a licensed plumber to do that work, you have to get a permit, you have to go through SDG&E, you have to coordinate with those two. And then you have to know the code on what's necessary to make that uh, that gas co uh, gas piping correct, as per code. So it, it it takes a lot. Is that happening in a particular age of home or a particular part of town that you're seeing that a lot? No, it's all it's all over, and it really depends on you know how the plumbing was done to begin with, where you know where it was done, where it was put. And uh, that has a lot to do with it, and, uh, and as far as the aging of the pipe and how it ages. Now you also do camera inspections. You know, those are really exciting. Um, <laughs> we, we camera inspect sewer lines and we provide you with a DVD and popcorn. No, I'm just, <laughs> no, no, don't forget about the popcorn. <laughs> it's it's but, definitely something you do not want to eat while you're watching the inspection <laughs> of the house. Um, I fully recommend, I will not watch half of them I'd say. <laughs> but but they like tell it. you yeah they tell you so much though because you actually get a picture of the condition of the inside of of your drain lines and people that are buying homes this is really really important. You could buy a beautiful home and then find out that you need a six to ten thousand dollar sewer line replacement because you didn't have your sewer line camera inspected prior to purchase of the home. Um, but the camera really stops all the guesswork. Before we used to run a cable in there and then pull the cable out, mark where we, we stopped, pull the cable up on top and say, oh, I think the line's gonna be right about there. <laughs> so now you have the camera that gives you the visual and, uh, and we have the equipment that lets us uh, pinpoint exactly where the problem is and how deep it is. And we give you a full report along that. that that's one of the new technologies in plumbing that's really, really uh, pushed us ahead. So I had the opportunity to see one of those, actually, about two weeks ago with my friend who was buying a house and I was there for, th for that. Mm -hmm. And you're right, it's pretty scary to see what's inside your pipes. For example, I did not know that flies live in there. <laughs> I, I was shocked. That is not the worst thing living that you'll find in those pipes. What's the worst thing you find? <laughs> We've seen cockroaches. Okay. We've seen lions infested with cockroaches. Uh, we have seen a mouse. Oh my God. He actually, he was looking at us in the camera. I thought he was really, he was a ham. He was messing with you. He's like, this is my close-up, guys. Yes. <laughs> Mr. DeMille. <laughs> what else? What, I, I heard, I, saw, I read a water report like a few years back that San Diego also had like giant clams, I guess, but that was probably in the city pipes. Yeah, that's, that's more in the, in, the larger, in the larger diameter pipes. But yeah, we, we actually were, were um, putting the camera down there and we're watching the walls of the cast iron drain line move and it was actually 360 degrees inside that for about 10 feet was nothing but roaches. Oh my god, this is so gross. Um, yeah. so, so what do you do to <laughs> cure that? Okay, so let's say you're doing that inspection and you find roots, because that's what happened in the one that I attended. There was a huge mass of roots. They couldn't even get the camera 
past the roots. What do you do to clear those roots out? Yeah, there's a couple of things that you can try to do. You can try to do the, uh, the typical snaking and use a cutter head on it and try to get the roots out of there. Unfortunately, though, when, you, when the roots have penetrated the line, it's already broke the seal of the line. So that's an outside root that's coming inside of your pipe. They find the, the smallest areas to get into, and then they grow inside the pipe. So you might have a thin piece of string that it looks like string that's going through a seam in a pipe, and then on the inside you have this massive root ball. Um, you can either dig it up and replace it, uh, you can line it now with epoxy, which is uh, the option a lot of people are doing, so there's, you know, there's less disruption or less destruction of your landscaping. And, but uh, you know, the epoxy is, is really, again, one of the new technologies that is out there. And that's important not only for people who are buying a home, but if you've been owning a home for some time, something that a lot of people don't realize is, is that you are responsible for your plumbing all the way to the connection to the city which sometimes you can actually own a piece of pipe that's under the street, but you still own it. Yes, definitely. And, and then if you go to try to repair that, you have to get encroachment permits, you have to get a building permit, you have to get traffic control, you have to have sidewalk control, you have to have uh, people out there directing traffic. At the end of each day, you have to put plates down. It becomes a very expensive process, yeah. especially if you're digging in the, in, in the streets of the city. So it's very important to not only know that when you're about to buy a home, but get your own home inspected. You know, you live there for 10 years, you're putting stuff down your disposable, disposal, you might have grease built up, you, you might have cockroaches, God only knows. <laughs> and you know, even though you're not having stoppages, remember, uh, you know, in California, our, our earth is constantly, the ground is constantly moving. Right. So it could shift your, your, your drain line and you would never know. Without, yeah, that inspection. without that inspection. Yeah, it's probably a good thing to do every five to ten years anyway. Yes, it's, it's, a, it's a great investment um, and, uh, and it will really tell you a lot. We're here with John Padilla Plumbing, Heating and Air. We're with John and Johnny Padilla and Dan McCarthy from McCarthy Marketing Inc. Stick around. When we come back, we're going to get delve deeper into plumbing, heating, and air.